Hello everyone, my name is Michelangelo and welcome to my channel. Today, we're actually out at the range, or crime scene, as you'll see here in a minute and during the shooting videos and stuff like that. Well, I shouldn't say a minute, but in the future videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But basically, I just kind of want to go over what's actually in my range bag. For some of you veterans out there, especially in the United States Marine Corps, you'll recognize this bag very well. It was commonly referred to as your, I believe, your war bag. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I'm almost certain it's called your war bag. It's nothing special. It's just a woodland Marpat uh, duffel bag. And I, there's no reason for me to toss it. It's a perfectly good usable bag, so keep it. Um, so I just kind of keep it to use it for this purpose. And it kind of works with the whole tactical environment, I guess, even though I live in a desert. So basically what I have in my range bag is what I'm gonna go over today. Um, the main things that you might not be able to see it on the camera is that I always bring water and I always bring a uh, CLS kit, a combat lifesaver kit, uh, that you can purchase online for all that stuff. Uh, that's just something that that goes without saying. Now, if you're at a range, you don't really need a CLS kit because usually you, well, one, you're probably in a city or you're probably uh, in a place where there is medical care on, like, on hand or very nearby. See, the place that I'm shooting at right now is about 20 minutes, 30 minutes outside the city. Uh, the nearest hospital is about 45 minutes away if you're going 80 miles an hour. So for me, I bring a combat lifesaver kit because I'm literally in the middle of the desert and uh, with very poor cell service and all that stuff. So it would not be a good time if I accidentally popped myself in the leg or in the ash cheek or if someone else got hurt out here with me and I didn't have a kit. So it's a good recommendation to bring a tourniquet regardless, but uh, just kind of going on with that is that if you are going to shoot out in the desert, especially in the great state of Texas, to make sure you do have the proper medical training and the proper medical and the proper medical gear to be able to facilitate any injury if you're not nearby a hospital or where an ambulance can get to you easily. All right, so basically what's in the kit is uh, I have a bag dedicated, a hygiene bag for you United States Marine Corps vets out there. Uh, a high, a, pretty much a hygiene bag or just a, pretty much a, just a small bag for all my GoPro stuff. Then essentially what's in the kit itself for the range bag is the oil in case my guns go dry or in case they need a little extra lubrication. More camera stuff. I usually have a plastic baggie for whatever reason. Uh, sunscreen, very important in the desert. And then I also put all of my carry ammunition for the guns I'm shooting for the day in a bag. So that way I don't accidentally shoot it. A couple rags for cleaning off a gun or whatever. A staple gun for targets. I usually have my preloaded magazines in here. And as you can see, I also leave my guns in here. Now, depending on the state you're living in, this is legal or this is not legal. Again, in the great state of Texas, I'm not required to lock up my firearms. So there's that. So my guns are also in here as well. Um, obviously, uh, viewer discretion, you'd probably want to keep yourself in a lock box. But when I go to the range, I directly go to the range. I don't go anywhere else. So I'm not usually worried about it. A range finder, some batteries for whatever reason. I don't know why they're in here. I must have thrown them in here for another reason, but batteries, again, the spare mags, white spray came for the targets. I have some extra ear pro in case friends come without. Uh, and then finally, my actual ear pro. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff in this bag. So I have a, I wear a pair of Oakley's. So I have the, the lens change kit here in case we do night shooting or anything like that. Uh, some paper targets. Uh, I shoot at steel 90% of the time. So this is mainly for like when I'm zeroing and stuff like that. I just have some steel, uh, some paper targets in here. And then finally, the most useful thing in here is the toolkit. This Gerber or this Leatherman, uh, yeah, Gerber, this is a Gerber. But uh, this Gerber has been extraordinarily useful in the time that I'm out on range. Like I said, I'm out in the middle of the desert. I'm usually by myself. Um, so a lot of the times with if I have a malfunction or if I have a jam or something like there isn't a, a range officer or anything like that that might have any specialized tools to be able to help me out. So that's pretty much what's in my range bag. I would like to know what's in your range bag. Uh, that'd be really cool. But that's essentially what I have in my range bag whenever I go to the range. Now it differs from time to time depending on what I bring. If I bring out a rifle, uh, obviously that changes a little bit too. I might bring out some AR specific tools. Now the only thing that you don't see, and that's mainly because I don't want to put it on the hood of the car, is obviously the steel targets and then the ammunition. 
So for me, normally, depending on what I'm doing, I'm usually bringing around 500 rounds of 9mm and about 200 rounds of, uh, of 5.56 every single time I go to the range. Now this really just kind of depends too. I don't ever actually plan on shooting that much, but just in case I feel like shooting that much, I do have that availability. Um, but yeah, so in future videos and maybe even in this video, you'll see kind of what I do at the range. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So hit like if you liked the video, subscribe if you really liked the video. Uh, don't forget to share and I will see y'all in the next one. Also, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions. Peace out, dudes.